name is Delilah Marai. If you are new here, welcome. I focus on mom, fashion, and lifestyle content. I'm so excited for this video because it is going to be a collective haul. Things that I've been like collecting from January and February, and I just want to share them with you. Let's just get into it. So the very first item that I want to talk about is this perfume that I got for spring, and it's called replica the scent is springtime and a park now if you're not familiar with replica i wasn't familiar either like i know i'm late to the game but here we are um it's supposed to replicate like a moment in time a scent it's supposed to like trigger like a memory and when the essay at nordstrom sprayed this for me i was immediately like i immediately thought about spring and it was crazy because i was there to shop for like springtime things. I wanted to get ready for spring, get scents, get skincare, like all of the things, sandals, all of the things. And yeah, so when he sprayed this, I was like, what is this magical stuff? Um, yeah, so it literally says springtime in a park. I will show you guys an up close of this beautiful bottle, but it literally has like a fabric label. And it just has a like really cool detail on it. I just really love it. And so I'm like hooked on it. It's just, oh, it smells so good. So yeah, so I highly recommend this. They have so many other scents, you guys, but you know, one bottle was 165. I wanted to try it out and see how much I like it. You know, once you get home, things might be a little bit different, but no, I love it. So the next item that I want to talk about is these Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold eye patches. I know this sounds insane. Like who does that, right? Um, Here, I pulled up like facts about it because I want to make sure that I have everything here for you guys. And also, everything's going to be linked um, like I always do. So this is an anti-aging eye contour gel pack to help lift and firm the appearance of the eye area in 10 minutes. So I have been using, oh, it's kind of dirty up top. I've been using this since the beginning of January. I bought it in the very beginning of January because I wanted to try it out for a month and see what I thought, how I liked it, if I felt like there was any difference in it. And like, seriously, if you leave it on for the true 10 minutes, early in the morning, let's say when you wake up and then when you take it off, you like pat the serum in your eye. It, you literally look like you have a fresh face. It's insane that how well this stuff works, which is probably why it's expensive um, because this is like $75. So it comes with this little scooper, which I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the eye patches do come with that. And I don't know, I just use my hands sometimes. But anyway, they're like literally like gold looking and they're super thin, super light. It's just like, you know, 10 out of 10. Okay, you guys, so the next is a facial massager by Solaris Laboratories New York. So this facial massager actually comes with a charger. This is like a facial at home, I'm not even joking. It was like $85, but it's worth it. <laughs> So this little button has like four different modes. It has an LED light. It also has like a vibrating massager. It has heat also. It has all of the things. So when you turn, can you hear that? So when you're working this into your skin, you're essentially like sculpting your skin. It's just like amazing. And it's already getting hot. Okay, I turned it off. Obviously with the LED light, they don't recommend using it for over five minutes. I think it's just like such a good way to just end your night with a good facial at home. This is the way to do it. I love this. So what I do is just put some serum on my face, work that in, and then I use this tool to kind of massage all over my face and then my neck and yeah, it works so well. And it's supposed to like tighten your skin over time. And so I just, got this like three weeks ago. So of course there hasn't been a lot of time using it, but I'm definitely going to keep it in my collection and I'm going to use it as much as I can. So, All right. And then the last thing here is an Amazon purchase. Actually, no, two Amazon purchases. So this is the satin bows are just like so popular right now. I love them so much. Of course, you guys know I have two daughters and I do their hair and like style and everything. And I love adding these little touches on their hair. It just makes such a big difference and it makes it into like a look. I actually use these as well. <laughs> so we all kind of share them and I got a pack of two. This was for February for Valentine's Day. So I got two pink ones, like a light in a dark pink and um they have so many other colors but because i love this love these so much i went ahead and ordered other colors anyway love that okay the next item is these these makeup brushes i don't know 
how long you guys keep your makeup brushes for, but I read that you shouldn't keep them longer than two to three years. Ah, the ones that I have right now are, they've been in my drawer since like 2016. Like, am I the only one? I don't, like I thought it was okay as long as you wash and you know keep them looking nice I thought it was okay but clearly not and I understand it's probably not a good like healthy thing so I went ahead and ordered these from Amazon because I saw that they had really great reviews on them and I really like the whole aesthetic of the brushes too like just neutral colors and they have stuff there's 18 of these brushes for like $25 and of course I'm like okay well you get what you get right if something's an expensive it's got to have a flaw. I haven't used these obviously because they're still in a pack, but I did like take the little plastic off of one. The soft, like the way that these like feel, they're just so fluffy. And I thought that they would be a little bit harder. I don't know. I wasn't expecting them to be like this nice. They just feel so good. So yeah, I'm like excited to actually use them. You guys know I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I'm I'm so down for this. Like I really like them. There's 18 brushes. Oh, and another thing is like they are all labeled. They have like a little label on there for what they should be used for. And yeah, they came in a box. This is the brand. These are like really, really great. And the reviews were good too. I'm excited to see to see, you know, if this was worth the money. So, so yeah, if this does work, then I am gonna throw out some of the old brushes that I've had for almost 10 years, which is like thinking about that is kind of gross. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> okay, you guys, the last two items are, well, no. One is from Amazon and the other one is from Target, but I can't actually physically show you because they're in use at the moment. So I will just show you an image of them, but these are some doggy, Item. So I got these really nice aesthetic looking type bowls that match my living room, my furniture for the dogs. They have matching water and food bowls. I think in one of my past videos, you guys probably saw me like refilling the dog bowls. So I got two more to match and they look really, really nice. They were like, I don't know, maybe $10 at Target, but I noticed that the Target that I went to in store only had one of them. So I had to order online and the other Targets in the area were sold out. So I don't know if this is like a popular item. I don't know, girl, but I will link it for you so you have access to it. Um, but they're just really, really nice bowls. They're wide bowls. I think they're labeled as like cat bowls. I don't care. My dogs, <laughs> they work just fine. Okay. The next is these doggy placemats. I cannot. It's so adorable. They are a cloud shape. They're from Amazon and they're just so, so cute. Now, what I noticed is when we got this new dog, Ace, um, he is so messy. He's like the sloppiest dog. When he eats, the entire kitchen knows it because he's like a kid that walks around with like a nugget or something with ketchup and just eating all over throughout the house. That is this dog. He doesn't just like sit in one place and eat. He like literally just takes the, oh, it's a mess. Either way, I realized very quickly that he needs a placemat underneath his dog bowl. And it has kept like the mess a little bit more contained and it's easier to clean that up than to clean my floors every single day. But what I do is just wash it. Like I just wash the placemat in the dog bowls once a week, um, twice a week sometimes, um, depending on like what type of food I give them. Cause sometimes I do cook for the dogs. I know they are so spoiled, but I will make like chicken and rice for them with carrots and a side of fruit. Like who am I? Anyway, I noticed that it's just an easier way to like keep the mess this was also pretty inexpensive and it looks really nice and it matches the dog bowls. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I hope that you liked the video too. If you guys have some of your favorites right now that you're loving um, for spring, let me know. Cause I love to try like new things and yeah, I'm interested in what you guys are using and if maybe I might like it too. And hopefully next time um, I do like a collective haul, I will have some like clothing and shoe items as well because you know, I'm in Texas and the weather is kind of weird. Um, last week it was in the twenties and this week it's like 75 outside. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. I would love to have you a part of the family and I will see you guys next week. Bye.